Hey, Ash here from All Things Dentistry, the place where we're passionate about sharing those unwritten hints and tips of dentistry. Well, we've got two cast post impressions here, and you're probably wondering, like, why aren't you doing implants? Well, maybe that's for another day. But what I'm going to talk about real quick, I'm going to waste your time, is how to do this technique that my buddy Magic just taught me to show me how to do because my cast posts, I don't do many. And this technique, I think, is worth sharing if you're going to be doing it. Obviously, you've got to think about the different types of restorations that are available, and we've gone through all the different options we spent time treatment planning and we're going to stick with the old school cast posts so this technique versus using a duralay technique is a little bit different what we use you'll see at the end of the video is we're using a quad tray we're using heavy body impression material we're using light body and then what we've done is we've taken a little plastic post we've inserted it into the canal you'll see that at the at, at what post it is and then we've taken light body and spun it down that's what this is taken light body spun it down into the canal and then we've we place a little cast, little plastic burnout post, and then we've taken our impression with polyvinyl. Now this technique is so much faster, but the problem is with this technique is that then you rely on your lab to create your core. Not so much the, the post is a problem, it's the core. So take that in consideration when you're create, using this technique. Obviously you might be using implants in a situation like this, you might not be, but the whole point of this video is what are you gonna use for that technique? Okay, so what I used was he suggested using a piezo reamer. You can use gate splittings. You can use any type of post. It doesn't post burr. It doesn't really matter. We use these piezo reamers. They come in a whole bunch of different sizes. The beauty of these is they don't have a cutting tip. So actually the tip will insert itself, will kind of insert itself into the gutter percha and slowly make its way down. you got to make sure you know how long you're, you need to go. Uh, every tooth is different. We're not going to get into the weeds on that. Then what we used was lentulose. So we prepped the tooth, we took a radiograph, and then what we did was we took light body. Oh, we tried in the post, how about that? So we removed the gutta percha, took a, took a radiograph, make sure the gutta percha was removed. Then we took these Duralay inlay posts. You can use whatever plastic or even metal posts, it doesn't matter, but it gives the it gives the light body some, some stiffness, some rigidity. So I fit this into the canal and I cut it to roughly about where it, it was just at the occlusal surface. And then then what we did was we dried everything. We took our light body, inserted it into the canal, and then I spun it down with a lentulo spiral at about 12,000 RPM. And then what happened was I spun it down again, and you'll see again at the, it, we'll take one more look at the, at the impression, and there were no bubbles. So it's a beautiful technique. And then what we did was we took our, then I took my post, inserted it into the canal, which was cut, inserted it, and then I took my heavy body in my quad tray, and down it went. Pretty simple technique.